Oh, 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 o
so that you can just toss his own dice guys oh my god but again this was too much so <clears throat> He invited me over to go and visit him claiming that we are going to be discussing this relationship and you know the relationship the so-called relationship the uncle b's relationship okay you see how we can mend things but when i went to visit him i noticed that this man was not interested in mending that relationship he was only interested in making things better for himself so guys it was very an interesting story quite okay and you know normally when people have relationships and you have breakups and makeup breakup and makeup when you break up most people don't think that that breakup is the end of it so some of them they tend to do nigerians who say they tend to do shakara here and there shakara here and there to see whether you're going to be you know to see whether you're going to be lacking them but to see whether you're going to come back, to see whether you're going to be pursuing them, you know. So I think my so-called Uncle B by then was thinking I am going to be looking for him, going after him and all that stuff. Little did he know that I'm just going to go and go like that. So after, uh, fast forward to, fast forward to three weeks, no, fast forward to a month later, Uncle B started calling Uncle A. Uncle A is my husband. Oh my God. So he started calling Uncle A and, and, and trying to ask Uncle A about my whereabouts. And Uncle A started pretending to Uncle B that I, the last time we talked, I said I'm traveling to my village. So <laughs> Uncle B was like okay i really need to talk to her i really need to see her i really need to do this but in the real sense uncle a who is my husband like my current husband now in the real sense uncle a knew that me and him we had something going already like <laughs> we had something going already like we were not even thinking of whether uncle b is gonna come back claiming his property it was the last thing in our head okay so so he tried telling him that okay the last time we talked Elle said she would travel to the village to her village and yes i've not heard from her so apparently apparently uncle i told you uncle a and b were friends like they were very very close friends you understand so apparently uncle 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 a who is my current husband okay um decided to call uncle b one day you understand he decided to call uncle b one day and he told uncle b that uncle b okay the truth of the matter is that i have taken your girlfriend <laughs> i have taken your girlfriend away from you and there's nothing you can do because when you people broke up i was thinking that you are going to come back to run after her or you're going to come back immediately to look after her but you're behaving as if you're not interested so it's now that you're coming back but now it's very late because i already took it these days if you see someone good for you and someone that is with the person is not appreciating the person you go ahead and collect the person so that is what really happened so uncle a told uncle b that apparently l and i are an item and uncle b got really really bitter he got really bitter he was pretending to be okay but he wasn't okay so the next thing uncle a who is my current husband just started hearing you know when you're close friends you have a group of people a circle of people that all of you know some friends that you share some friends you know so he started hearing here and there about um them stalking saying that oh uncle uncle b is claiming that uncle a snatched his woman away the woman that used to help his life the woman that used to support him the woman that used to buy him things including clothes boxes and innerwares and everything it was just talking talking really mad you know that kind of talk that you talk when you're defeated oh my god this was just getting so colorful i was like really i thought I thought you were no more interested, like no more interested because apparently what broke us up, Uncle B cheated, Uncle B cheated and I found out and 
I confronted him because I have a big mouth. I will not keep quiet. <laughs> and the bitch cheated. I confronted him and he was trying to be a man, you know. Even when you're caught red-handed, you want to try and make it look as if, you know. So, he was now thinking that it's too much. So I was like, okay, that is that. So, fast forward to what now happened. Um, Uncle A, my current husband, decided to open up to Uncle B and tell him that I am Ella and I think right now, I waited for you for so long, I tried to make calls to you for so long to see if you can calm down and make amends and it seemed to me like you had moved on because the whole thing was that you were the one that cheated so of course you hate someone else, okay? So I decided that since you have this girl and you are not appreciating her, I am going to take her and appreciate her because I know what you have that you are not seeing. Mm. Okay, so after that, the rumors keep on going, the rumors keep on going, and the rumors were rotating, and they were coming back to my husband, and they were coming back to my husband, and everybody was telling my husband, say, hey, this guy is really spoiling your name, he's saying you collected this girl, he's saying you collected this woman, he's saying you collected this woman, you would not allow him to, to settle this cause with the woman, he's saying you collected the girl, you don't want to give back the woman to him, and my husband said, this guy is mad, how can you be dragging a woman that I called you for? Told you to make peace as your friend, you refuse to make peace. Is it now that you have seen that everything I just working through since my, the woman came into my life, everything is just moving forward? Is when you're now claiming that you need the woman back? Is it that you know there's always something about when you lose someone and you did not know how important the person is until you lose the person? Then all of a sudden you notice that the person was very very important to you. You notice that the person could visit you, the person could cook for you, could clean for you, the person could buy things for you, shopping for you, and you, you didn't even have to spend anything. The person gonna do everything for you and you're not seeing it. Is when someone else takes the person away that now you begin to see it. So Uncle A, my current husband, now told told the people that don't mind that guy. I called the guy to try and make peace. The guy did not allow me to make peace. And I cannot see this such a good woman slip off my fingers and go to another man's arms. So since my friend did not see the goodness of her, I saw the goodness of her and I am willing to keep that woman. <laughs> so that is how Uncle, Uncle A took over Uncle B's property just like that. Okay, it's, it's very, very interesting, guys. So... When all those things started happening, Uncle Uncle A, my current husband, it could just follow me everywhere. It could just follow me everywhere. I don't know if it was too much love or it was obsession or if it was just him being careful of his property. I don't know. If I went to my house, it'd follow me to my house. If I if I want to come back, he would come back with me. He would just not want to do anything. Then later now he talked to me into selling all my property and moving in with him. He just wanted to see me around him all the time, all the time, all the time. And after we moved in together, that is two weeks. <laughs> two weeks after we met, we moved in together, guys. And until today, I've never gone back to my parents' house. We moved in together two weeks after dating. If you want to know how choking Uncle A's love was, you know, that guy that feels that you have to be with him no matter what you have to stay no matter what you have to go through no matter what you he has to see you you have to be in his face you have to be in his presence you know so that is even the reason why when i got pregnant for our first child we did not even have a doubt about it because i was literally living with uncle a my current husband <laughs> So when I was pregnant like five months, Uncle B decided to come down and decided to come and see my husband. And my husband is a very funny guy. Do you know that when I was dating this man, even after I've moved into his house, he was still putting me under probation? Do you know that he was putting me under probation? And one day he opened his mouth and told me that, you know what, I am putting you under probation. I was like, are you serious? Which kind of probation? Probation come. Probation me. You probating person that is already sold all house property just to move in with you. You are probating person that is even pregnant for you. You are sick in the head. So anyway, I know he's going to be laughing watching this video. But anyway, 
when I was five months gone and could be visited, he could visit, you know, he could visit, he could eat, he could do this. So one day he came, he followed Uncle A just like that, my current husband, and he came to the house and I did not expect them to be there. So when he came, I just asked, he said he, he, um, he wants water, that he's thirsty, he wants water to drink. And I told him to his face that you cannot be coming to my husband's house to be drinking water. Do you understand? You are my ex. And as it is right now, I have moved on with my life. So I want you to move on with yours too. I know that you are my husband's best friend. But you cannot be coming to the same house where the woman who happens to be your ex is now married. And you'll be expecting me to be walking to my husband's kitchen and be serving you anything. Food, tea, anything. Bread, water. I will not do it. And there's no water for you. I want you to leave this house today. I never show your face back here. Mm. Bernard and Uncle B was just like uh, he didn't know what to do. He could not believe it. Because normally somebody would be thinking that okay, maybe let me keep going back. I know his intentions. I knew his intentions. He wanted to keep going back because he had been defeated. Let him keep going back so that one day he will come and he, he will lure me into bed in my husband's house. And then he will come and say, after all, you, you spoiled this show for me. After all, you, you stole this woman from me. After all, the woman was mine in the first place. You know, women can cause problems between men. And I said to myself, this man, it will not work for you. My uncle A called him to make peace. He, he did not agree to come and make peace. So after we decided, okay, I told Uncle, Uncle A, I am going back to my village. And Uncle A said, no, you're not going anywhere. You have to remain here in the city. If this guy is not willing to make this, me, I have been eyeing you since long time ago. It's just because you were my friend's woman. So I couldn't come and toast you. But now that you people are no longer together, I cannot allow you to go back and go and meet another guy. I cannot allow you to do that. I will just have to keep you here with me. Do you see husband material a thousand yards? Do you see husband material a million yards? <laughs> so guys, I do not want this video to be longer than this. So we left it at where I pursue a could be from our house and could not believe it. And my husband had to live with him. And when he came back, the only thing he told me is that, I told him, how could you be bringing your friend back to our house when you know that he's my ex? What nonsense friendship is this? The only thing he told me is that he wanted me to be the person to ask him to leave so that he will know whether I have actually detached myself from him emotionally. Can you believe that kind of man? My husband, my husband, if I catch him, eh? <laughs> anyway, guys, so I'll leave this video right here where I said I sent this man away. I will do a part two of it. If you want to know how it went and how it ended up to date, that I am now going to. Four years plus married going to five years keep your notification bell turned on and let's meet in our next video because this is going to be so dramatic it's going to be dramatizing it is going to be amazing guys so let's go this is linda frank don't forget to subscribe and the title of this video is linda frank story time trying to be sifoseto in a day doing a story time video like sifoseto in a day Tell me what you think about it. Tell me if I killed the accent. Tell me if I lost it. Tell me if I didn't get it at all. <laughs> That's the fun of it. I 